Fantastic. Yeah. 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 This, yeah. First of all, this is your blog, Google Maps Mania. Yeah, and, and I've got a, it's actually hosted at Blogspot, but I've got a, a, an easy way to get to it. It's gmapsmania.com. Okay. And that actually forwards through the Blogspot okay. address just to get to it a little, little bit easier. gmapsmania.com. Yep. So the long address is up here at the top, but what we're basically what it is is it's it's a it's a blog that's covering all of the latest and greatest mashups that are coming by. I bet this is a full time job. Although people must send them to you. Now. Um, you know what? I at first I was having to kind of comb blog listings right. and find new ones that they made, but a lot a lot of people have actually sent them to me recently. Right. So that's great. Takes These are the kinds of sites, it. folks. I I particularly love. Um, I call them meta sites, sites where somebody who's kind of fanatical about one thing yeah. has collected everything you need to know. And if you could find that one site, you don't have to spend any time <laughs> looking for Google Maps mashups. You could find them That's by just by just going to your site. Well, that's really cool. Okay, so let's let's take a look at some. Yeah. So basically, to to find the category listing, and this listing's getting pretty long. I've actually. Uh, this will all move off of the. How many are soon. there right now? Um, you know, Google Google holds that close. Uh, it's a closely guarded secret, I think, in terms of how many actual key, API keys are out there right. or accounts. Right. But I, I mean, I'm looking at probably about 600 on this page. Holy cow! Yeah. Holy so cow! It, it gets to the point where one long list uh, kind of outgrows itself. So right. very soon, if people visit the blog, you'll start to see it move over to a, a directory listing yeah, soon. Yeah. So yeah. Eventually, so we, you have to use Google to find well, you, your mashups on the Google Maps. Yeah. Map. But let's hope they uh, hold off. <laughs> On, on indexing for a while anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the mashups and tools index over here, and I, I've got a, a listing here of, of top picks, and these are just basically sites that I think if someone's new to the blog, they can kind of mm. get their feet wet and, and know what, what Google Maps are. And when I say the word mashup, basically that's a, a database or a data source mashed up with, with a Google Map, okay? So um, the first one I, I'll show you is a, is a site called, um, uh, it's called tworealestateauctions.com. Mm -hmm. And what this guy's done is he's taken the eBay API and okay. the Google Maps API and mashed it together. So all the dots on the map here are, represent uh, e online eBay uh, real estate auctions. That's right. And what he's done is he's taken the ones with the highest bid count, oh, sort of alerting smart. you to the fact that, wow. that there's, there might be a deal here. So he's taken real estate sharp. first. He's yeah. combined the two different projects in a really great way. Yeah. yeah. So if you click on that one, for example, you can see there's 15 bids um, for this uh, for this Arkansas Recreational Resort uh, Resort Paradise. So it, it basically just alerting you to uh, to some of the auctions that are happening. So a lot of these are really enhancing sites that already exist or data that are, that's already out there. Um, one that I actually found this morning um, just popped up getting lots of blog play today is called Wayfaring. And it basically, it's one of those sites that allow you to create your own Google map without having to know a lot of code or apply for the API. So basically, all you need to do is go to wayfaring.com, take out an account, and then just, I, I'm actually logged in as my account right now. Mm -hmm. But what we can do is we can, uh, let's zoom in to, uh, to, let's just take Toronto as an example. So we zoom into Toronto. What we can do is we can uh, click over here on add a waypoint, and we can actually click, uh, type the name, we can call, let's just do the CN Tower. Okay. And we can easy easy navigation. Yeah, you know? it's it's yeah. an easy reference point. So under tags, we can put things like Toronto, or we could do. Uh, we'll so just, it supports we'll just tags as well. It does. Yeah, tag searching for each of the maps. Um, then we can describe it. We can say tallest freestanding structure <laughs> in the world, my friends. And don't let anybody forget it. That's <laughs> right. Come to Toronto. <laughs> so what we can do is we can hit save waypoint. And that will allow us to um, take a look at that map. So you can either click on the map or you can put in an address for that. That's yeah. right. Okay. Um, I don't know what the address is. Save waypoint. We have to put it. We have to put an address in. You haven't said where it is. Oh, there we go. So okay. click somewhere. <laughs> I, I can read directions too. <laughs> yeah, it's not in the Tobacco. I know that. <laughs> so we'll find the scene tower we are. Yeah, there you go. You're yeah, close now. You're getting close. close. Yeah, there we are, right? Zooming right in. You don't need to know the address if you know where to look. Well, let's just let's, let's just, put it let's in the just assume yard. it's right there in it the is. middle of the train tracks. Okay. No, we don't. Do you have to click, click harder. Click on the map. It says. It's not, okay. it's not letting you do that. It's not. He letting obviously. You see that. Well, this is this is new code. All right. We well, found a bug already in Wayfaring, <laughs> but I get the idea now. Yeah, you know. And uh, so you could make a map of a lot of different pins. That's right. Okay. Let's uh, let's pop over to one that's actually done. Okay. Um, th what I've wow. what I've uh, bookmarked here. This this basically is taken 
um, different webcams and and points of traffic information in downtown New York. Wow. Okay, so this is this is actually one where waypoints have been added. Now this isn't Things wayfaring. This is somebody else's. This site, is a right? se separate site altogether. It's off a site called AllChemist.com. I've got it linked as one of okay. my one of my favorites or top picks. So um, what happens if we click one of these? Now this shows you you don't have to use those red Google dots too. You can even have your own color coding. That's right. This is someone that's using this is a API. live camera. That's right. So what they've done is they've taken webcams and mashed it up with with Google Maps as the mapping interface and then allowed you to look at... Uh, See, if you lived on Manhattan, Manhattan, this would be fascinating. Yeah, that looks like a... Let's pop into another one with a live camera there. So you can actually see wow. a live street view. And what's really neat about this is if we zoom That's right really in... That's really amazing. Well, this, is a, this is just a little scary. I mean, this is incredible. Now, if you switch to you satellite... You could probably follow you can actually... a car. You could probably follow a car using this. From camera to camera. There you go. You could spy on somebody. And the satellite, the satellite imagery gives you a bit of real context to it. Now, one of my one of my personal favorites is one that I think you know kind of might show the future of of, uh, of how public transit may operate in the future. This is somebody that's taken publicly accessible data from um, an Irish rail site. This is in Dublin, and what he's done is all he's doing is scraping the real time locations of. Of so this trains. is where the trains are right now? This is a real-time map of showing locations of where commuter trains right now are buzzing along the tracks. That is amazing. What's really neat about this, so basically each of these trains has a GPS unit on the train, and it's basically oh, it's showing us what train that is, <laughs> what line it is, <laughs> and when we zoom out, we can actually see um, what train that is. So if I, live, if I live in this area right here, and I've got a mobile device with a with a web browser on it. I can go to this mashup, <laughs> see where the train is, and, run. and know if I need to run or if I can walk. So. It's great. This is the kind of information that we should have for everything we do. Absolutely. Okay, we have time for one more. Good okay, one. well, one more. We oh, should two more. We should do two more. Do two. Because I like your beer one. I want to do the beer okay, one. Okay, sure. But we got to show the Frapper. <laughs> okay, so Frapper is, is basically a site where you can create a, a map for either your website, your club, your group, or your show. In this case, I created <coughs> one for Call for Help. Very yeah. easy. It took me about three steps. Yep. We so if you go to frappr.com slash cfh, that's our map. And what we want to do is have people put push pins in where they are. So let's be the first. Shall we'll we? Zoom into Toronto again. Okay. We won't try and find the CN Tower this time. No, just, you, can, you can just enter the name, right? You don't have that's to actually right. do any zooming. Um, if you scroll down. Like, don't know if we have a search. Yeah, there you go. Right there. See? You haven't used this in a while. Right at the bottom, just fill it out. There you go. Oops, there. So I'm going to say, let's do Toronto, actually. Yeah. There we go. And you have Toronto, Ohio, or Toronto, Canada. Take, we'll All take right. Canada. There we go. Put my pen. And we'll call for help call is for great. Free. I like that. Cool. We, we can do a picture, picture if we have one, right? but we'll just we'll just add it. And for now you. we have our first pig. No, we don't want to make an account. No, we don't want to make an account. No, say no thanks here. That's all right. That's something new that they added lately. I don't know why that. I guess they're trying to make a little... Look, there, there are, are two listeners, two viewers. So there's our, our little... Mike in Toronto and up. me in California. Hey, there's Leo. <laughs> well, I started it. I had to put my face <laughs> in there. So that's frapper.com slash CFH that's right. with no E. Frapper. -E -P -P -R. Now show us one more. Okay, so one more. This is one I was sent last night by a fellow in Toronto. And what he's done is he's taken... Uh, Find beer on Google. That's, that was the title for the blog post. So he's got beerhunter.ca. And basically what this is doing, he's only got Toronto to start with, but I mean, hey, tourists, that's probably all you need. Hey, tourists that are in town might be able to use this as well. You can uh, basically click on any of these items. LCBO, just to give some background, um, uh, you can't buy beer or liquor in Ontario right. uh, in a corner store. So right. specifically go government run right. companies right. Uh, sell it. So and the color of the, of the pin says whether it's open or closed? That's right. And we don't have any closed right now because no, of the time of day. No, it's a good time to buy beer, baby. That's right. So we can go wow, click on beer. You can hysterical. see the, the hours, where you need to go. This is somebody who's very dedicated to his beer. Absolutely. <laughs> and this could be very popular. <laughs> to find out more about how you can use these maps and ma up to 600 new maps, Amazing. And more all the time. GMapsmania.com. Mike Pegg is its creator <laughs> and the keeper of the maps. For links to uh, some other examples and the ones we showed you, go to our show notes. Call for help. TV.com. Thanks, Mike. Now it's time to combine technology with trivia. It's our